Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nero017, and today I am joined by Cody. And it's our first actual full Lorcana video, which I'm very, very excited about. Obviously, we've done a lot of pack openings on the stream and done some of the deck editing on my deck. But Jody is playing the Steel and Sapphire yes. deck. And we have our bulk here. And yeah. <laughs> and she is going to take her deck, which is the basic one starter deck from Steel and Sapphire. <clears throat> and we're going to make some upgrades to it. So I'm going to flip the sweet seats. And uh, Jody's going to be making her picks. Let's go. Right, we switched. Right, we start with... Oh. I think what the main thing to look for is to look for the things that either aren't working. Right, from the last time we played all <clears throat> it was a lot of... <laughs> to be honest, the steel and the sapphire decks are very heavy-handed. And you have to earn a lot of ink to be able to play them. I think it's always the same with most of them, it's making sure you have... No, this one's even worse, and I'll show you the reason why. If... because of that. What, now he get to is him? an 8 ink but he's also the highest card in the yep. game as far as we have right now so it's an 8 and 8 and you have to have that 8 ink in the well to be able to even and that's where this out. comes in but you've got uh, I mean I've gone over this with you mm -hmm. so there's a couple of things that I think so there's Tamatoa I was going to say Tamatoa definitely does bits Chief 2 is a good card as well because he's got support for a 3-6 yeah. he's very expensive but on the plus side he is a throwdown it's very true. It's possibly, I think, if I'm right in thinking, I already have a weapon. I think what we've got to remember is that um, Tamatoa might be more of a boss card, which means you could look at replacing one of your actual boss cards. Yeah. So, we have our uh, additions that we need to add, which is a fourth coconut basket, a third grand Italia. We want to get four, but we've only got one extra at the moment. A fourth Mickey Mouse. The first Scepter of Arendelle, potentially going to go and up these as we go on, but we needed to play test to be sure. And the fourth, Develop Your Brain. All of these are important to the blue, so we're going to go ahead and add those in. I think the problem is, although these are fairly fundamental cards in this deck itself. Yeah. The only thing I can see the Magic Golden Flowers for, for good th uh, for 1 1 throwdowns. But yeah, once you've you used them, you bounce the card. Well, you have to bounce yeah. the card before you can even use it. So. The only thing I see them for is Inkwell throws yeah. easy Inkwell. It's all I've ever used them so, for, just Inkwells. Um, my is, although you get two lore every time you quest with it, it doesn't do much. No. And I've got it's a solid, three of them and a different Maleficent. The only thing about her is she's a good wall. Yeah. But with some of the other stuff you've got available, it's we're gonna, just easier. Just so what we're going to do is we're just going to add the new additions in and then we're going to show you what we've got of the structure that works. For the additions, we've got four coconut basket. We know that works. Poor Detective Mickey. That's set to Arendelle. Yep. And then we've also got three at Grandma Tardas. We want to get the fourth, but we haven't got one yet. But we also... Oh, don't forget that you've got the four develop your brains as well. I was just getting there. <laughs> so now we have four of the develop your brain. And we've now added in... You know, Tartoa. And we think this is going to be good because of the amount of items that have been played. Right. Cards have been organised into this chaos over here so we're just going to show you what we're going to change up you might i don't know if you want to use that galactic lilo oh should we get should we get these bits in first yes yeah, so because i have so many strong cards but a lot of them i just use the same so i'm planning on getting rid of my two flounders and my two goons and replace up and then i'm gonna put four symbols in because Simba's ability plays off really well with... Oh, sorry, let me bring him in a bit more. Simba's ability plays off really well with Ta, with Grandma Tala. Obviously being able to draw a card and then choose and discard another card. Send in one card potentially to the graveyard, allowing her to immediately add an extra ink. So, let's unsleeve these bad ones. Mm -hmm. So, I'll do the organisation of them. Mm -hmm. in. <laughs> the only other idea that we've had is to minimize and kind of discard some of the rewards i have because i have three different rewards and one is a shift so technically i don't need another six rewards i was just thinking and uh, this is crazy and when i say like i have multiple there are three mm. and there are another three that's a shame okay hear me out mm -hmm. 
this is going to be interesting to the video. I have this idea for um, the way it plays. So, why don't we go four auroras, mm -hmm. three twos, one four, only just in case. Then, bin off these two auroras, but add another shiftable aurora. Hmm. Reason being, you then have two wards and two. And remember my my theory of having four of the sub one and two of the shift monster. Yes. That is my idea that I want to put into my deck, and I think that could work because obviously Simba doesn't have a shift yet. But that means now you're playing off of extra ability, and it's going to be so much easier for you to go twos and then shift. When we get the fourth one of that, we yeah. swap it. If we put everything that you've done that works into the deck, yeah, so or things that right. happen, and that it basically tells you then when you pull it apart and figure out which bits you can then go right, what bits am I actually going to get rid of, or what mm -hmm. bits don't work. So at the moment you have two ransacks, and we only have an extra one, but I think three will actually do it quite well. Yeah, I think this is the problem. Like at the moment though, we are only playing with sleeves that match sixty-five. Obviously, I I want to go with an eighty-card deck. So, I'm the same just because there are so many options that you can actually play. Yeah. And it's getting harder and harder to kind of finalise that one thing so you really want. So, play those. Uh, what, what do you want to do with Fire the Cannon? Do you want to go with three or do you want to go with four? Because these are your these are your evasive killers because you've only got one evasive killer up there in Simba yeah. right now. I may end up playing another one. Okay, I have, I have another one somewhere. We've used some of the extra f uh, five sleeves because we're using 60 to add in... Uh, a whole new world, which is a really good way to get a new hand. Break for banishing chosen item and the extra fire the cannon. So you now have four fire the cannons. That's straight in. The one break, we're going to see if this works through playtesting, then potentially add it in. Sure. And a whole new world. I think you're only going to need one of these for the mm -hmm. extra draw because otherwise you're going to be discarding shit tons. But you can't even use it as ink anyway because it actually. No, it's not inkable. It's unless, you, unless Detective Mickey tells you to flip it down. Yeah. Right, so we're going for four Hercules with the bodyguard. And we're going to take out the Kristoffs. Yes. The good thing is, if this doesn't work, we always have them to fall back on. Because Hercules is the three ink to get on the page. Oh, it's exactly the same as Kristoff, but with more perks, just yeah. one less law. Which is not a problem no. because there's other things to actually get law. Okay, so that leaves these Simbas, these Mufasas. I mean, these Mufasas are good as just being a beat over, mm -hmm. but then your option could be also that Scar is a better six ink than Mufasa. Okay, upon a quick VAR decision, <laughs> the frying pans out, Mufasa out, and you might be going, oh, shock horror, why? Extra Scar playing in there for the minus five ability, extra Simba for the law gaining in a challenge, and the fact that the ability for the law is great, and obviously then it's a good card, and in place of the frying pans is, boom. Two Eye of Fates, which is an item, so it stacks Tamatoa, which is great. But also, when you tap it, they gain one lore. So Scar becomes the powerful Mufasa, and so does Simba. Boom, knowledge, and I gave you the foil one. <laughs> oh, the pretty one. I like the pretty ones. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, worst case scenario, we still have two to turn it into a 65 card deck. We have three. We have three to turn it into a 65 card deck. Uh -huh. Well, that does mean that it gives me another idea. Oh, God, there we go. I'm helping. I know you are. I'm not saying anything about that. I mean, we have the other options that you have. Lilo. Kronk. I think Kronk might be a bit heavy-handed. Yeah, I mean, I'm already working with... Yeah, because we haven't taken Maui and Simba out, and I think these are going to be awesome to keep. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, we've also got... Also, I know these are only three law? No, three inks. So you could really... And I've also got Prince Eric in but... Because uh, he's a he's plus a good... two challenger. Yeah, he's a challenger. You could, you could add another Prince Eric. Or, so my other options for you, so what cards have we got left? Let's let's, let's see what we've got left in the cards. We've got one jump ahead. Grab your sword, they are my only two times. I don't think we want another grab your sword. No. I know it's good, but it's expensive and it's not throwawayable. No, it's like the same as so jump ahead. I'd stack that one, just stack it in the deck as it yep. is. Uh, fourth Captain Hook, possibility? Or are we happy with three? I'm quite happy with three because of my what's going in there. I think you've got quite a lot of low levels as it is anyway, so I'd yeah. stick with that. I would double check this. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll fact check in a minute. Uh, one jump ahead is the maybes. Jasmine, she's a throwaway. Yeah. So the problem is, is that even though you have throwaways, and you, know, you want to make sure, 
Throwaways, you still want to have other ones that are also used. They want to be usable too. Yeah. So maybe we'll come back to them. Eric's. Do we want a third? No. Eric is, as he is. We have two extra sleeves here. Okay. I think two he definitely gets one. Mm -hmm. Because he has support. Yeah. He can add his attack to Maui. He can add his attack to Simba. He can attack his, add his attack to Beast. I think that's a good idea. That's a lot. And it's another big hitter. And also, if you can't have anything else, with the amount of heavy hitters you've got in your deck, yeah. you've got about four or five boss monsters. So even if you stack one into your inkwell, it ain't the end of the world. No, it's really not. So if we put those three Yeah, I think, in, I think they've got guaranteed spots. Yeah. I also want to put Maurice up here on the, on the thingy because whenever you play an item, you may draw a card with Maurice. That's a bit easy. He's also got seven defense. That's good. He's got shit attack, but that's what support plays in with Chief. Can you imagine playing Chief Tui alongside Maurice? Ooh. I've completely forgot when I was talking about you don't have any healing power. You have coconut baskets. Yes, you have four of them. You have the most OP way of healing <laughs> in the entire game so far. Yes. Already. So ignore me. I think I may end up putting in Maurice. I think he's awesome. Just for that whole... I, what I see, and this is the thing, like with Pokemon, you play multiples of like one big monster yeah. and then the rest to play around it. With Lorcana, I think you need to have multiple big hitters to be able to like save yourself if something goes wrong. Because if you just go, I'm going to go into Maui and then you go, or they go, we go into Simba and you go, shit, you know, I didn't play off the right way. Whereas now you've got enough coconut baskets. The only thing we don't have, and I don't think we have any cards that do it, is getting those items from your discard pile back i honestly don't believe at this current moment in time there is any law on our cards no. that can bring things back for me to discard for so we're happy with we're happy with maurice maurice is in uh, no beast is not going he's a beast is i like these the I smash think, are useful i think these ones mm -hmm. not so much i'm gonna say one of these out for the basis of we have another extra smash by the way i will say this to everyone we're going to do a bit of fact checking um, and doing some inquiries with some people we know. Once we understand the basis of the beast's mirror and how it works, this may get a feature. Yeah. It's, it's a learning curve. And if you guys know how it works and can explain it, and I'm, going to say, I'm going to say in layman's terms because people can just say, oh, well, it does this. But I don't understand the ink. So if you can fully, fully describe it, please tell us. It makes it life so much easier for us. Right. Let me see if I can figure this one out for you. It is an item. Thus, it stays on the field. That means we don't have to worry about it discarding it. Great. But it does have a thing where it has a signal for tapping it and free ink, which means that every time that you went to use it, I believe you have to tap free ink along with this card to use its ability. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, it's sometimes. so I'm thinking, so an extra smash is probably a given. Mm -hmm. Giving you three, I think that's more than enough. It should be more than enough because it's three ink costs and mm -hmm. just uh, deals three damage to yep. the character. Cool. So I think we're good with that. Right, that now leaves a spare one jump ahead. We've got two jasmines. I think this needs to be a, a more. If we had more of these, this would be amazing. Yeah. I think she would fit perfectly over Jasmine. She's two lore, four two. She gets over most things. Mm -hmm. So I think this needs to be a thing. I don't think Kronk's going to be needed now. But no, there's a couple of things. That we could look at and i'm gonna put a couple of ideas another one grab your sword Poten potential i think that's the last result i also think another beast another beast or Ugh, hands. only because whenever he quests and he quests for two mm -hmm. he's going to deal a damage to any chosen character on the other side of the field now he look at him and go well yeah okay he's a three three you have support you have healing yep and last but not least, you have Eye of the Fates now. So he yeah. can now go for three lore. The only other thing you could play off is potentially Merlin. Merlin. I love his do? art, by the way. That Merlin art is insane. I really want to see it in Hollow. The, the ones that I'm more tr drawn towards to replace is the Lilo and the Hans. As much as I love the Beast because he's good. I want he's... three in there. No, you've got two. Is it two? Yeah. So you could go to three. But I think that when you look at these, high cost, yeah, high cost, and you're replacing, you're taking threes out. These are mid, so these two, three and four, Lido could either be useful or throw away, yeah. and you're not going to lose anything. 
and you're not, you're not going to regret throwing this one away but you're also not going to regret playing it because it's very strong yeah a four two is insane to be honest if we had two i'd be like fuck hans play them but he is a bastard yes upon the review and the build this now is the new and upgraded version so all right so we have hans <sighs> So he deals one damage to your quote your chosen character when you quest him, two law, four ink cost, and three three. Lilo, three ink cost, two law, and a four two. Yep. Doesn't really do much, but useful sometimes. So work together as a one ink cost, and it's another support card. You can add their um attack. Attack on the chosen character's turn. And two three smash. Which is a deal three damage to chosen character for a three ink cost. Then one more ace. Two beasts. Two beasts. One Maui. One Simba. Yeah. One Chief Tui. Yep. Two Tui. Oh no. I'm going to say Tui. Tui, yeah. <laughs> we got two Prince Eric's. Three Captain Hooks. Yep. Grab your sword. Three Simbas. Yep. Yeah. Three Simbas. Two Scars. Two Eye of Fate. It's four Hercules. Yes. It is Hercules, Hercules. Um, one, a whole new world. Yep. One break. Four or three? Four. Three, four. Four. Four fire cannons. Two, three, three. ransacks. I still think that might be a possibility for four in the long run. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet, though. Four Simbas. Yes. And I've got one Aurora. Three other Auroras. Three other Auroras. And another two Auroras. Yep. A Tamatilla. Yep. Four Delipy Brains. Got three That's definitely got to come up four. I do not know. Yep. Scepter Barrandel. Four Mickey Mouse. Not to take the Pe uh, Mickey Mouse Pikachu. <laughs> to take the Pikachu. And four coconut baskets. Yeah, I think that now playing into the duplicates of four is really going to make the difference in the deck. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's your new deck. So we will do a video where we put Jody's deck up against my deck. But the next video will probably be me pulling apart my one and completely rebuilding it. That's good. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like, that subscribe, and the little notification bell. Also, come check out the streams. We stream over on Kick, TikTok, and here on YouTube. And most of it is 3.30 p.m. stream is mainly Lorcana stream. So we're playing Lorcana games live on the stream with you guys. All you got to do is join the Discord and join the video chat to play. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, it's goodbye from this one. And goodbye from him. Peace.